In today's episode, see what we looked like before we lost the combined rate of 10 stone. And take a look at my new nose. Welcome to Living with Coopers. I'm David. And I'm Ellen. And here it is. Yeah, it looks exactly the same. Good thing is, though, the surgery was a su- uh, success and it worked. I can breathe through both nostrils now, which is, is really lovely. Uh, the surgeon did say there was a possibility she wouldn't be able to straighten it up, but I don't care. It's what makes me me. And yeah, I'm happy. So this week's episode is all about how we lost 10 stone combined. And the way that we did is we joined Slimming World. We joined when Alanis was six months old. Um, I had to really because I had a lot of baby weight and a little bit more extra weight. <laughs> and I was worried about not being able to keep up with the with an active child. Completely forgot to film this bit, but right at the end of this video, we're going to be putting some before and after photos. So stay tuned to have a look. Now let's carry on. One of the main reasons we joined when Alanis was six months old is because that is the recommended age for babies to start having solids. And we realised that it's not ideal for babies to be having Chinese, pizza, Indian every night of the week. That's, that's not okay. We were both brought up relatively healthily, so we didn't want to give her any bad habits. And there were, there were more reasons than just, uh, like just Alanis then. I mean, we had personal reasons as well. I mean, neither of us particularly active. Uh, both of us started feeling a little more depressed. We had no go in us whatsoever. Personally, I had a couple of things that really bothered me. Um, I'm in a band myself and we play a lot of weddings and my smart clothes started to go from large to extra large to extra extra large. And I was buying extra extra large to feel comfortable and to feel like they were a little bit baggy. But I remember there was one shirt in particular that I bought, which I thought, right, I'm gonna have this for ages. And then that started getting tight and that was a worry. And I thought, There's, I've got to do something about this now. For me, uh, it was Laura's birthday just after Christmas, which is, you know, everyone overeats Christmas time anyway. But Alanis would have been two months old at this point, mm. And I bought a gorgeous dress and I don't often treat myself to clothes. And I bought a size 16, which was the size I was before having Alanis. But without realising, I was living in leggings, baggy tops, dresses, anything that didn't hug the middle. And I tried the dress on about a week before the night out and the girls had to try and zip me up and it was a good, a good two to three inches away from doing that and I felt awful. The reason I joined Slimming World was because my good friend Katie had joined and she has done incredible. She's lost a massive six stone. Take a look at her now. Doesn't she look amazing? The best thing is she is getting married this summer and she gets to walk down the aisle now knowing she's looking her absolute best. I, on the other hand, was a little bit apprehensive about joining Slimming World. Um, I don't know whether, whether it was because I always thought that it was just going to be women there or just because I didn't want to admit that I needed that much help. So I decided to do it with Ellen, like on my own in the house for the first week. So Ellen went to the class and I just said, right, I'll cook everything and we'll just go from there. Now, what I did realise when Ellen started bringing home these recipes was that it was basically the same food that we were eating anyway, but with little twists on it. Um, so I, I love cooking. If I wasn't a musician, I would be in the kitchen somewhere cooking. So it was, it was an absolute dream for me to find all these things that I could eat without taking away stuff like pasta, without taking away potatoes. You know, we could still eat your carbs. You just have to really, really have like a well-balanced diet when it comes to fruit and vegetables. We've both had many high points up until now, but we want to keep this video quite succinct, so we've picked our favourite three. It was really hard to choose, but my first one has got to be the certificates and the shiny stickers to put on your book. I know it's childish, but you get the certificates every half a stone increment, so you get them half a stone, stone, stone and a half, you know, so on and so forth. 
but it was incredible every time I had them I was like oh I'm so excited and they were put on our fridge until we eventually run out of room um but yeah I love those certificates uh secondly it will be drop in dress sizes now I dropped four dress sizes and I know that's amazing I'm really proud of myself but like every time my jeans gonna be looser I'd be like oh and I'd go shopping and I'd be like no no I'm not gonna fit into the 14 and I did and then I eventually got down to a 12, 10 to 12. And uh, I'm really happy with that now. It costs a lot because I've got a full new wardrobe now, but that's fine. I'm happy with that. No, no one's moaning about that. <laughs> um, and then the final point would be how amazing I feel. I get days, obviously. We've got a one and a half year old. I get a little bit tired and stuff. But overall, I feel like a completely different person. I've got so much more energy now and I just want to do more things and feel happy. Like I feel good in my skin and that's such a massive thing to have, mm. I think. Personally, that is right at the top there. And I, I mirror exactly the same as Ellen already has. Um, slightly different ones for me though were, um, I became strangely competitive. I'm not a competitive person by by any means. But when I started getting things like Slimmer of the Week, which I got uh, eight times. Yeah, well, I got it a couple of times. Oh, uh, well. yeah, shared with me, though. Uh, um, I had some on my own. Mm, Thank you. Maybe. Slimmer of the Month. <laughs> I, I also had, had that as well. Yeah, but that was joint with me on one occasion, and I had it on my own again. Um, after that, then, I got Man of the Year. Now, it, that's from my group alone, but that really gave me, like, so much pride in what I'd done. Um, you know, it, it, it was... Well, four or five months into yeah, us being in Summer World, so it was it was such an incredible honour to to have bestowed upon me, and then finally my probably my biggest high point so far has been Laura deciding to join with us. Now Laura was kind of going through the same form struggles as we already yeah. were, uh, but she'd seen how well we'd been doing, and she decided to come along. You know, she's had a, a bumpy road like all of us have when you start, but, you know, she's done incredibly well too. And here's here's a picture of Laura as well. How much has Laura lost? Uh, she's lost three stone now. She's not quite a target yet, um, but she's not far off at all. Yeah, she's like a couple of pounds. But like it? in this photo, you can see what she looked like when she first started university. And that was her ultimate goal. She wanted to get back to that point. Then in the middle, when she gained all her weight and she was extremely unhappy. And I think you can see that. It's clear to see that she isn't happy there in that middle photo. And then the third photo is her now. And look how close she is to that first original photo. And she is buzzing about that. Like, yeah, she is so happy. She's done she? incredibly well. And, you know, to think that we may have played just the tiniest part in her joining, like, makes me feel so much happier about myself anyway. where it gets a little bit complicated so my original target weight was 14 stone so I started Slimming World at 16 stone 7 I believe so that in itself I, I would have lost two and a half stone to get to that target I got the 14 stone and flew underneath it straight away that week I'd lost something like five pounds so I knew myself I could lose a little bit more weight so I dropped my target weight from 14 stone down to 13 stone five weeks later got to 13 stone so I dropped my target again from 13 stone down to 12 now and where I am now I'm slightly under target now is 12 stone I am happy I am not changing it again and then it comes to me now I started and I was 19 stone 10 my first week I lost 10 pound I was gutted I didn't get it recorded like actually in class but oh well um so my first target and my only target was 14 and a half stone um after four or five months uh, I managed to get down I started slowing down a little bit the closer I got but that's it was when I hit target wasn't it yeah you started because down. Ellen had to eat a little bit more and eat like you know she was having some more treats and she knew you know more than she usually would so I started having more treats than I usually would. So, you know, it slowed down a bit, but I hit it. And on to the only bad point I've had so far. I then went a little bit off the wagon. Um, I think you fell off it and rolled down the hill. Yeah, and got run over by another wagon that was coming behind as well. Basically what happened, we went on holiday. Um, that was in September. And then through till January, I was basically off target. I mean, I kept up certain like routines. I still wasn't drinking fizzy 
um, sugary pop. I was still I was drinking sugar free stuff. Um, I was still cooking without oil in the house. You um, weren't having sugar in your coffee. Yeah, you know, sweeteners. Little things habits stayed yeah dinner. still eating fruit um but i was having you know chocolate cake pies i went back to class for the first time in seven months and i expected to see uh, at least a three and a half stone gain um and to my surprise it was only two stone two now that's still an awful lot of weight that's 30 pound but it was nowhere near as, as much as I thought it would be. So far, I've lost nine of those pounds again. I've dropped my target again to 14 stone. So I'm going to be pushing myself a little bit harder now this next, uh, this next few months to get back to where I should be. I'd like to say as well that this is not an advert for Slimming World. They're not paying us. Um, they haven't asked us to do this video or nothing like that. It's just something we're genuinely very passionate about. What, what I'd say is that if you want to make a change, then the best time to do it is just right now. Um, I mean, we use Slimming World as our example, yeah. but there are plenty of other avenues to explore out there. And just find the one that's right for you. Um, a, a, the reason I say do it now is because of our wedding album. Yeah, like the run up to our wedding, everyone does it. We were like, right, we've got to shift a few pounds now. What should we do? And we tried so many different methods. And one method is not particularly healthy. And we just cut out things. And we found we were like craving all these sweet things then. So we binge up. It just didn't work. Um, but most importantly, we look back at the photos. And we know that we don't look our best. And it's not because I've now cut my beard off. No. Because it was atrocious in the wedding. Oh, it was horrible. But we know without sounding big headed, and I don't want to think that everyone, you know, thinks we think we're stunning or anything now, but we know we look a lot better now than we did back then. Like, look at the photo from our wedding. It's a lot different. <laughs> we are a lot smaller, but you can see we're a lot happier. And look how uncomfortable we look in that photo. Granted, there's ribs in that dress. But David is in that suit and you can see that he is not comfortable. The, the buttons are literally going to, to pop, pop off. <laughs> it, it's ridiculous. Like looking back, I feel so, so disappointed in myself that I didn't take it more seriously on the run up to our wedding because th there's only the one wedding we're going to have and only the one photo album. So, you know, it's a bit of a disappointment. It just means we can get married again. We knew our vows in 10 years, get another pretty dress and... Oh, find someone. Yeah. Oh, then. for watching please like comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time stop it i can't <laughs> oh.